I am Mark, your kind and generous dungeon master. And if you are sitting comfortably, we will begin. We are in media res, which is Latin for when they bring back an old show that you really liked. Our heroes are locked in a fight with some massive, honest to goodness, full size giants. But why, you ask? because they got into trouble after coming to the islands of the Sea of Silt in search of the lost fortress of Akarakle. But why, you ask? Well, they seek Akarakle in the hope that law can be found there concerning the Cyanotrix. But why, you ask? Well, that's because the Cyanotrix is being used by an order of Cyanocysts known as the Order to suppress Cyanics all across the tablelands. But what? Okay, well, we don't actually know why they're doing what they're doing, but the party's high level of Angian ally is looking into that. Meanwhile, oh, why? Hear- Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, because it's too high level area for you. Um, so he sent you to seek lore on the Sarnatrix itself and perhaps a way to destroy it. Uh, oh, and did I, did I mention that you've been accompanied by a group of Urukites with whom you are simply the best of friends at first? Mehmet um, the Foul. For- <laughs> oh, it's Mehmet, sorry, some- not Mehmet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said Mehmet, but I said Mehmet. <laughs> Mehmet the Foul. <laughs> Mehmet the Foul. He's Arabic. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I'm, that's racist. Um, so yeah, after arriving upon Lake Island, uh, on the understanding that the giant tribe there could help you reach Akarakle, you were dismayed to find a member of the Order of Sinusists, known as the Order, was already there, filling the mind of the giant chieftain with lies and causing initiative roles where there really shouldn't have been any. Um, speaking of which, we did those just now, which uh, means we're um, ready to party and get punched by a giant. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> we, if you can imagine a, uh, like a kind of two tower style opening with the camera swooping in low of the sea of silt, revealing Lake Island, its volcanic cone rising up out of the dust, a boiling lake sending off clouds of steam, and around the boiling lake inside the crater cone, a series of large buildings constructed from the hewn rock of the volcano itself, home to the giants. Down in through the cracks of stone that make up the exterior of one of these buildings, the largest of them, a chieftain's abode of some type, and inside it is is a mayhem, a melee of 10 to 15 foot tall giants charging back and forward across this room, swinging huge clubs while down amongst their feet around about knee height. We can see our heroes, uh, Bengal, Bengal, Portek, Tik Tik, Matthias, Ra, and Tin charging back and forward. Well, perhaps not Portek in, in this case. I'll get to that why. And um, standing array just behind them, similarly, the Urukite party breaking into battle formation as complete chaos erupts the ra- erupts around them and standing at the far end of the chamber his enormous meaty hand pointing towards you the chieftain of the giants roaring for his men to take you alive or dead he doesn't care just take them all ra perhaps surprisingly enough um you are first to uh, to react yeah so have they actually <clears throat> begun swinging at us? Uh, uh, you can f- feel through the ground beneath you and um, the sensation of large, meaty feet thundering in your direction. Uh, you can hear just behind you uh, the shouts of giants, war cries, uh, weapons whistling. Uh, you hear at least one of them uh, connect with a solid crunch uh, against what you presume is one of the Urukites from the yell that comes out. Um, so uh, I guess the short answer to your question is yes. That'll make me a three as I'll uh, begin to brandish my heartbreaker. Um, But she will just say, please, if you could just give us a moment and listen to us, we can maybe sort this out. You're smart, we can do this. Um, your, Your voice is lost beneath the tumult of thundering feet and roaring giants. Uh, at the far side, you can see it's almost as if the uh, the Sarnicist, who has so far only appeared in Matthias's nightmare, can almost read your lips or hear you, as you hear through the tumult a soft, wickering chuckle that can only come from his lips. Um, your weapon strikes on a three, which is the same time as Tick Tick gets his initiative. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, hold my action until uh, a, a giant is within. Uh, striking range with my claws. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to whip around him and use a CMB attack to hamstring them. Nice. Okay. Um, so you hold, uh, you can see a pair of them closing in upon you from either side. Uh, Ra, you said you were swinging with uh, your Latulis. 
Yes, if they're coming at me, uh, I'm gonna defend myself. So I will yeah. do just that. Um, let's see. Uh, that is a 26, 41, 27, 27 to hit. Okay, these guys are have a mighty armor class of 16. Perfect, and they're all large. Very much so, yeah. Nice. So as she begins swiping forward her Latulis, spinning it around as she does so, trying to defend herself and her group, uh, that is 23, 26, 23, 24 damage. Maths I cannot do. Uh, 20, okay, damage, uh, 2, 4, 6, 80, 86. 91. 86. No, there's, a, there's four attacks hit there, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's, that's well over 100 oh, points. Oh, yeah, 90, yeah. Oh, Jesus God, yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the first giant. Me, the, I was going to go diplomatic. Yeah. First giant that comes anywhere near Ra, the Latulis just whirls, humming and buzzing through the air. And there's a series of solid and soft, chunking, slashing noises. And down the thing goes. Uh, its legs torn from underneath it. And she actually manages to take out its throat with the back end of the Latulis as it hits the ground. I'll say it again. We can talk this through. As she just slams this thing down. It's probably quite <laughs> scary considering that she... Previously <laughs> blind and not able to see, yet able to take him down with <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> nice. Um, tick tick. Uh, you're up now if you want. Yeah. Um, the what you said there were two charging at Ra. Uh, there's only one now. Yes, and two. Yeah. Well, the the, the the other one is going to get hamstrung, or at least okay. I will attempt to do so. Um, hold on. Let me find my character sheet. Sorry, I have way too many screens open here. That's completely fine. Uh, okay. Um, this is a, a claw or a CMB attack? I'm. Uh, let's make it a CMB attack. Okay. Where do I? Oh, here. Um, sorry, it's been ages. That's fine. Um, we're, we're, we're just back from our break. You take all the time you need on it. Do you want to go okay, and get a uh, one, two, three, four, five attempts. I can't actually read that. 23, 36, 23, 30, 25. Has yours gone all weird and purple as well? Yes, it has. That's because yeah. you've turned on dark mode. Dark turn mode. that oh, off. Oh, oh I'll turn, turn that off. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that shit off. I had to turn okay. it off. Uh, it see. automatically turned on for me, but I kind of like it, though. I like it, and it automatically turned on for me, but I couldn't read the numbers. Yeah, yeah. I like it, but the numbers are unreadable. I can't see any. <laughs> That's true. So, okay, um, Arnout, the second yes. one is a success. Uh, they have a CM, CMD of, of uh, 32. Um, so out of a massive flurry of attacks, <clears throat> one of them is sufficient to, uh, to strike home. And uh, to your joy, the... Uh, the giant in question goes down. Drops. Okay. One of his uh, one of his legs torn badly open at the back. Uh, blood pouring down the but back. But specifically of his hamstrung to um, immobilize him. And then, yeah, I will use my rapid retreat to uh, hide behind a structure nearby. <laughs> okay. So there are large pillars and columns holding up the ceiling on all sides. And yeah. You can uh, hop and skip. Put, interpose the, uh, one of them with me and uh, the giants that are still yes. running towards us. Exactly. Okay, nice. Uh, Matthias. I will... The giant that Ra just decimated, I am going to hide underneath. But as I do so, I'm going to cheekily point to the uh, the order guy and activate my ring for a fire element ah. to appear behind him. And then I'm going to hide behind a giant that's down. Nice. Okay, good. Can you make me a hiding shadows roll, please? I will certainly do so. Mm -hmm. Clicked it. Did yeah, so. okay, got it. Um, you, uh, yeah, so activate your ring. There's a, a surge of uh, 
heat and energy behind where the uh, the sinus is standing, and the elemental appears immediately. Um, you drop down behind the uh, yeah. behind the body of the giant. I'm assuming that's an action. Yep. Um, the elemental unleashes its attack directly uh, uh, against the sinusist, and although you don't see it because you've dropped down behind the um, behind the giant, the rest of you on the field of battle see this blazing fire elemental appear behind the uh, the sinusist with an interesting hat, and its flaming arms pass right through him. He throws his head back. <laughs> Um, it would appear he's not actually even there. Uh, <laughs> at the same time as that, uh, the uh, the uh, half giant shaman um, step forward, and there's a few barked words of magic, incanted prayers to the elements, and okay, great. Um, you you see a pair of the uh, of the urukites stiffen and collapse. Uh, specifically, Tiana the uh, Templar and the Carl the Halfling have b- both either been, you know, entirely sure, paralyzed, petrified, slain outright, you can say. Um, Portek and uh, Tick Tick, your other attack. Please kill Vemet. Please kill Vemet. Um, there, right, uh, there is, in fact, a, 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 a giant closing in directly upon Vemet, but he's not going to get there until much later. So the the one that I just felled. Yeah, he's uh, kind of dropped. He's dropped to one knee. Though the the leg, the knee that you the, the leg that you hamstrung uh, yeah. is gasping in pain as blood pools on the ground around him. Okay, can I uh, you, use you, his? You can see you can see behind his leg. His his uh, his uh, his quadrus his um, hamstring is indeed bunched up at the back of his leg. Okay, well I will use his snapped. his distraction um, at his sudden pain uh, to just lunge in really quickly and bite him and retreat the hell out again. Okay, go. Um, and this is just a, a bite attack. <coughs> yeah, treat him as armor class 12, because he's... Uh... Okay. Um... It's poison, yeah? Uh, it's poisonous, yeah. Um, 29. Okay, and there's a saving throw. Oh, okay, so that's a save. Um, okay. Oh, just, oh damage, me, damage, damage, me, damage. Yeah, just give me damage for that, please. I remember how to do this. This is great. Uh, four damage. <laughs> four. Yeah, that'll teach you. Shut. <laughs> okay. Um, we have I was trying to poison him. <laughs> we have Constantine and the, ch- and the Chieftain at the same time now. It's just like Portek, a little uh, puppy that's, that's, that's teething. It just like... <laughs> uh, what, what initiative are you on, Portek? Uh, I was on six. <laughs> Then I've skipped you. Go ahead. Uh, Portek sinks uh, from the moment he sinks okay. into the ground. That was that was that was last round. Yes, you'd sunk below into the ground, um, <clears> so you can hear what's going on above you as a series of kind of muted thuds on the earth that you yeah, are I, currently encased I, in. I, I keep uh, sinking on uh, uh, to a little bit over uh, twenty feet in the ground. Uh, okay, Just to be out of area of effects of things, um, and then I will cast a non-detection spell on myself. Okay, nice, good. Okay, um, so sorry, Tin and the Chieftain. Um, the Chieftain has unlimited a large metal blade that acts and is just wading into it. Um, question, what's the uh, the race of the uh, Sionist? The Sionist is human. Yes, he is, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not there. <laughs> what's that? He's not there. It's like a hologram. Oh, uh, okay, damn. Um. Then just to make sure that uh, I'll uh, drop back next to uh, where Ra and um, Tick Tick are, and okay. I'll fold in and start turning into a uh, bull bit. Uh, what? Sorry. Uh, it's in my. It's in the uh, Druid Shape Guide for any terrain. B u l e t t. It is a car- carnivorous, angry beast. Oh, a land uh, shark! That- right, a bull. Oh, yes, cool. Yeah, yeah. Bule, yeah. Uh, well, and uh, a so bulbit. 22, 20, yeah, 20 years ago. Like, yeah, dude, I'm barely here. Come, you know, it's fine. Right? Uh, you're doing, you're doing well. You're doing great. Th- th- thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you look beautiful, sweetie. Keep going. That is a, that is a lie. Like, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So I will so, turn to um, that. You, 
yeah, it is a com- it is a, as I said at the beginning, a completely mad, over the top, confused melee. You stumble backwards between a pair of giant legs. Uh, a giant drops by the side next to you. Um, you can see that the other Kreen from the Urukites has leapt across the intervening space and now stands back to back with Tick Tick and has taken down a second of the giants. Uh, oh, nice! Right, uh, of the two that was uh, come close into Tick Tick, um, yeah. Uh, you can see it's got the, the chakra chat that you made for it in one hand and is using it as a melee weapon, slashing oh, nice. back and forward. Um, uh, but yes, uh, you pull yourself nice and close in and amongst the the, uh, the, the, the tangle of bodies with uh, Ra and Tick Tick, uh, uh, and well, as it happens, Chat at your side. Uh, right, and at the same time as you do that, you begin the transformation. It happens almost immediately. Uh, your form changes, ripples, and becomes an uh, immense reptilian creature with a huge carapace over its head. Um, AC uh, is 22. Yes, good. Um, Right, Chieftain strides forward, seeing uh, what he believes to be a spellcaster or a defiler or some kind of wizard in his midst. Uh, He goes straight for the shapeshifter. Uh, AC 22 currently. Yes. Okay. One, two, three hits. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, so uh, Chieftain steps forward and swings mightily with his blade. Uh, That's going to be eight, ten. 16, 21, that's his strength bonus. Uh, 900. <laughs> I'm, pro- I'm, pro- I'm, pro- I'm probably dead, that's that's fine. Uh, that's gonna be 56 damage uh, from a pair Bloody of hell. brutal over the, yeah, they've got like plus 16 strength. Um, a, a, a brutal over the head, whacks with his uh, metal bladed axe and the, the the blade itself is easily half the size of your body and it hews into tin what did i say 56 you said uh 56 yes Six. yeah okay uh tin drops i'm at uh 71 how did i drop uh no you're not uh, let me see. Uh, you're at 53 you guys didn't fully heal, looking at this. You guys haven't fully, so a couple of you haven't fully healed Matthias, uh, Tin, and in fact, Magal Magal, since your encounter in the uh, in the ruined ship with the Silt Horror. So how much am I on at the moment? At the fire element, or have I the attack of opportunity? Uh, Matthias is on 75, Bingle Bangle's on 63. Yep. Um, the chieftain roars as the bullet collapses. Its form shimmers and changes back into that of Constantine. Uh, he is neither moving nor breathing, but is bleeding. Uh, Bengal, Bengal. Kidoki. Um, so can I get a quick, where am I on the battlefield? Okay. <clears throat> so the, the, there's no actual individual spot. As I said, it's a it's the chieftain's hut, and there's yeah. bodies flailing about. The giants are locked in combat with you and with the urukites. You're kind of running back and forth between their legs. Um, mm-hmm. At no point is the battlefield even even stable enough for you to get a good view of what's going on around you. It's largely um, calves and ankles for you. Okay. Well, can I uh, just have a go at the nearest calves and ankles and see what I hit? <laughs> the nearest one is running by. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And uh, Open, also, girl, that's me. <laughs> Stop. Um, right, so singing sticks. I get three attacks, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's 28 and a 31 and an 18. Okay, those are both hits. Okay, both or not the 18? No, those are all. Uh, those are all hits. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes, those are all hits. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, are these large? Can I count them as large? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they're miniature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and miniature I've got, giant space I've got my stone of sharpening, monsters. so it's plus three to all of them. Totally. Yeah. 
And I'm going to give the Sionicus one of these. Because he's not here, but I can do it. <laughs> oh, you like that hologram? Yeah. All right, give me damage for those. Um, so that's... Oh, nice. Okay, eight, 15, seven, 22. Seven. Yeah. There you Yep. Okay, nice. All right. Um, the half-giant who uh, Tic-Tic has largely um, uh, hamstrung is just pulling himself to his feet, trying to, trying to balance on one leg. When Tic Tic, you see, appearing quite literally from behind the dead body um, that Matthias is hidden under, uh, Bingle Bangle appears, whacks the half giant three times in his good leg, and then disappears again. The half giant <laughs> collapses, uh, barely able to, even able to get to his feet after the sudden flurry of injuries. Oh, rough nice, day, right? Nice, yeah. <laughs> anyway, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just trying young. to picture the, the, the size difference between the two. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Bingle Bangle, as you run, um, he takes a flailing swipe at you as you flee. Uh, oh, that hits. Um, it's just a kind of winging crack across the back of your head um, as you duck out of sight again. Uh, six, nine, uh, plus 14 is 23 damage. Bloody hell. Gives you on 40 hit points. Yeah. Crazy, crazy amounts of damage. Um, okay. Uh, and at the end of the round, the remaining giants, um, this should be entertaining, uh, get to take their attacks. Tick, 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 tick. There are two against you. Um, one of them faces off against the Kreen. Um, uh, hits him twice. Uh, the Urukite Kreen, uh, you can see one of his arms nearly snaps clean off at the base. Uh, the, uh, another smashing overhead blow lands him on the ground. Uh, he's still moving, but twitching slowly. Um, but he's distracted one of them away from you, Tick Tick, but meaning that okay. only one of them uh, takes a couple of swings at you. Uh, bob and weave, bob and weave. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, uh, all right, okay, so uh, you actually dodge um, all but one of the attacks. Uh, back and forth between its legs, and only a single one lands home, um, dealing you five, eight, million. two damage. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on, you're on 73. Um, it, it literally is a glancing blow, but you're like, skidding across the ground. <clears throat> um, perhaps more entertainingly, the other half of the half giants um, have gone plowing into the Urukite ranks. Uh, you can see Ulrich the Strong um, holding her own against a couple of them, um, showing her gladiator prowess um, to be um, something of fully worthy of respect. Uh, as I said, um, Dukala and uh, Tiana are, are held. Um, and then there's Vemit. His voice rises in a high-pitched, terrified shriek as yes. Sarah Park joins yes, come on. grab hold of him. That's, uh, it's a Tear him apart! Uh, <laughs> only send him back to his master. Okay, right. um, so yeah, one, um, one, of the, one of them picks him up by the legs and he's screaming at the other, no, no, no! The other one quite, quite simply gets hold of his head and pulls it off. Yes. Uh, you can see just for a single moment his face with a last terrified, yeah! And oh, then he his, disappears. Well, head, yeah. body, possessions, all of it. Vanish. Are you and the half giants are left are holding you smoke. <laughs> like him, yeah. Damn it! Oh God! He... <sighs> what a gorilla! Uh, in initiative, please. <laughs> I get. I, um, is this the same round, or do I get uh, another? Uh, another. Just quickly. Uh, okay. A massive thank you to Manx Works, who's tipped sixteen dollars for sixty-six inspirations. Wow! Oh, please, Mark Rollo. Wow! Oh, everyone except Bengal. It's a D6. This, this is D6. Nice. Okay. D6 is a I'll D6. give mine to Bengal because a six ain't going to help me. Aww. <laughs> I'll try and use much, it to mates. save you. Thank you so Don't much. Don't waste it. Don't waste I it. I won't. <laughs> um, Thank you, Manx. Yeah. Outstanding. Um, um, initiative, please, people. Did, did, I, did I not get another action? Or am I... Am I so you, you, your action was to, was, to, was to move deeper into the earth? Cast non detection. Well, you want to, and, 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 ca and you cast um, non detection. Non -detection spell. On yeah, but I thought that everybody did an action after that still, or not? No. Am I losing count here? No, this is a, it's been one round. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, okay. My initiative is Roll one. On. I don't have initiative. Yeah, I need one from you, Tim. Um, I got 12. Oh. Oh, 
two hits plus six is chief in there. Uh, shaman on three. Giants on. Uh... Okay, right. Uh, Bengal, Bengal. Five. Five. Portek. One. Yes, one. Tick, tick. One. Also, one. Matthias. Nine. Uno. Ra. Twelve. Jesus. No, dear. Um, <laughs> and uh, ten. Fittingly, ten. That's actually in your favor when you're bleeding out. Uh, okay, Portek and Tick Tick. All right. Both on um, one. Uh, the one that just attacked the other Kreen. Or the one yeah. that tried to attack me. Which uh, There's two yeah. in front of us? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and one to your side who's busy trying to get to his legs, to his feet. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to focus on the ones that are not down yet. I, I, I'm not giving you precise overviews because quite literally you cannot see what's going on around you for the most part. Huge no, giant bodies enough. milling about. You get the impression that the Urukites are getting um, their asses handed to them, uh, which means you're probably going to have a couple more giants coming your way this round. But at, at any rate, please proceed. Fabulous. Uh, I'm going to go full out on the giant's groin. Oh, okay. Yes, good. Full hand uh, on his crotch. Outstanding. Yeah, just, just claw, 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 bite, 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 bite. Lots of, lots of, lots oh, of biting. Biting, okay. <laughs> gonna need to take you to a vet after this. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm gonna have scabies and and bite. herpes yeah, bite, at least. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Wait, that's the damaged one. Uh. Where is it? Where is it? All right. One, two, three, four, five. And then do I wait with the bites? No, go just do them now. It's a pain in the ass. All right. One, two bites. So 22, 27, 36, 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I don't know. 16, so. Okay. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, two saves of the bite, please. So that's um, 18, 29. Uh, 39. And math. Uh, <laughs> 30, 39, no, 40, 18, 47. 47. Yeah. 50, a lot. 54. 50, no. He's 55. 50, 55. 55 and two poison saves. 50, well, the first poison save, as you can see, was a natural one there, so. Okay, so he's out. <laughs> and he takes 55 damage. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and he's badly hurt. Um, all, I, want to, I want to stress that it's all in the crotch area. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. Because <laughs> that's where I'm at, you know? <laughs> that's fine. You, you, um, that's I good. just, you know, it's you, important you, that these you, things you, are... I want it for the what? record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the soft parts. This just makes it even worse. I so, know, okay, right? Uh, uh, and you will get a duration on this of... I think it's only like one round. It's like a round, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah but it's that buys me a round. <laughs> you know? But he's but he's like, he's down, yes. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. Um I'd like to buy a round, please. Okay, and at the same time as you're doing that, Portek, what are you doing? Um just a brief uh, overview. The the, the room is a rectangular box. Uh, uh, yeah, from what, what you recall, yes. What are the dimensions about? I will tell And I'm presuming there's a, there's a, a, a double row or a triple row of, of big. Um, Can you hear uh, me? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I just got a weird glitch yeah. there. Um, it's uh, 25 feet east west, and runs two, four, six, 80 feet north south. So it's um, it's quite large. Yeah. Okay. So 20 by eight meters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more or less. Uh, it's got a, a, a row of columns, stone columns in, in, in it. Double row, single double, row? Double row, yes. Yeah, okay. double row. Um, and how, how wide are those columns? The columns themselves are each 15 feet wide. Okay, big ones. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, uh, uh, Portet casts an invisibility spell and rises back to the surface to have a, a peek uh, through what's going on. Okay, cool. Right, sorry, I'm just having a sound a sound glitch here on my end. Um, <clears throat> We're hearing you fine, though. Yeah, good, okay. If something weird happens with the musically, let me know. Okay, right, so, um, Portek, you 
cloak yourself in invisibility and rise to the surface, emerging into a just to hear. Cha- <laughs> cha- yeah, <clears throat> it's a complete chaotic madness. Um, giants charging about the place. You can see two or three of them have gone down already, um, but there is blood all over the floor, and a good proportion of it doesn't look like it belongs to the giants. And I'm looking for my uh, my, my 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 peeps. Yeah, okay, so you can see there's a couple of giants are, are, are down on the ground, and your companions appear to have grouped into a, 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 a small um, kind of defensive enclave there. Um, you can't see Matthias, but you can see uh, Ra and um, uh, Tick Tick and Bengal Bengal huddled to. Oh, gods, they're standing over what looks like Constantine's body. Okay. Um, okay, um, at that point, the uh, shaman strides. Uh, into the center of the group and wants uh, into, into the center of the room and uh, now turns his attention on uh, you guys opposed to the Urukites and unleashes uh, prayers to the elements. I'm going to want saving throws, please, um, from Tick Tick and from Ra and from Bengal, please. What kind against of saving throws against, 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 against failures. I want failures from all of you. Shut up. Ones. <laughs> Nothing higher than a two. <laughs> yes. Against, against spells. That's that's a failure from Ra. I am I am happy. Remember D sixes and D twenties. Oh oh, can I uh, can oh, I add God. my uh, my D six to that, please? No. Did I win? Yeah, Gordon. the rest of you passed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank Music's God. playing, messing up. Keeps stopping. Uh, uh, no. Can Was I that? add my D twenty yeah. to that, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can now roll your D twenty. If, you yeah. if you want to now, you blow your D twenty. Yes, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Better. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Uh, okay. Uh, the shaman's energies wash over all of you, but you resist them and are uh, and are unaffected. Um, Bagal, Bagal. Yes. Um, having been unaffected, you can't kill me. Um, I'm going to have an attack at the shaman. Oh, you're going to run, run over to the shaman. Okay. Yeah. Hoodoo, you voodoo, bitch. All right. Where's my... <laughs> <laughs> what? Dead Island. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played Dead Island in years. Yeah, no. Okay, so that's a hit of 26, 26 each. Does that hit? Yeah, he's on he's on class 18. So. Oh, what a loser. All right. Um I guess he's just a medium guy, right? No, he's 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 a he's a Is he guy. large as well? Big, they're all big boys. Oh. Yeah, all of them. Hells yeah. Right then that's the, the clue is in the name. That's a seven and a ten plus how much is it now on the sharpening stone? Only is it a plus, plus two? two? So that will be nine twelve. You rolled double tens before. Ten no, no. twenty thirty seven plus tens 12. across the board, honey. Fifty nine damage to the shaman. Oof. Damn. Sucks to okay. suck. <laughs> it doesn't need to. It sucks even more to have a halfling appear out of nowhere, smash you brutally in the kneecaps, and then run away laughing. Um, which is more or less what happens when as Bengal Bengal um, comes, a, yeah, cavorting out of the melee and um, yeah, makes the uh, the shaman reconsider his life choices. Unfortunately, Bengal Bengal doing so attracts the attention of his boon companion, the chieftain of the giants. No. And spots, oh, the not the boon runner. companion. Oh, I hate that guy. Uh, comes with his um his metal axe of uh of axing. No, don't get up. <laughs> no, please don't get up. No, he's gonna <laughs> ask you a question actually. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a natural one. Swing wildly. You dance over the blade as it skitters sparks across the floor. <laughs> Second attack. Uh oh, uh, natural four. Uh. He has a plus 16 to hit, which it's armor class 20, and that's you, that is. Uh, no, it's please. not! No, you can't <laughs> say it is. No, that's a lie. That's why I have armor optimization. Just, just. Yes, but you didn't do that, did you? But I did it last time. It's been months. Just, just, How would you remember? <laughs> did, she, did she not I, though? I mean, can I you remember like, that? I fucking back? did. I, I did. feel like when we you, entered you did this not, room, I, no, 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 I no, 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 no. I know because it's here on my sheet. It says AC with armor op thirty one. Yeah, but you didn't activate the armor optimization. I feel like when we entered that room, we all. I feel activated. like I listened to. I feel like I watched the vod today. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe all <laughs> did you know? is cut out when we said 20. it. I feel like you should just be a nice person. Uh -huh. I feel like you should. Take I feel like everybody should just take their fucking the lumps. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, twenty points of damage from a, a glancy blow that rings across the back of the head, and his final attack uh, is uh, sick. That's definitely a hit, and that's another. Uh, uh, Ooh, what is eight plus 16, 20, another 20, oh. I'm down. Oh okay. Bagal Bagal just drops, gets, jumps over the ax on the first swing, takes a glancing blow to the back of the head with the other, and as he's stumbling around, the, the giant chief steps in once and whack, fells him. Who just got filled? Me. Bingle bangle. Everyone's favorite mouthy hobbit. Yeah. Mr. Dealer out of Death Dealers. Yeah, which one are you, by the way? I don't. I'm, think the, I'm the dealer. You're the dealer, okay. Yeah. Ra Ra's death. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. Because she's like, death, death, you know? <coughs> yeah. Oh. Um, the hamstrung half-giant gets to his feet, um, so waving around unsteadily, very badly injured. Uh, how many, how, the, how many uh, giants are left, by the way? Um, do you want to take an action to uh, properly scout the battlefield? No, 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 none of that nonsense. There's okay, 27 so <laughs> of them. <laughs> Around you, you can just see a wall of bodies. There's the two half giants you've been meleeing and another one charging in from the side um, straight oh, away. Uh, yeah, beyond that, you can see Ulreg, just you briefly get a glimpse of Ulreg standing. Um, she, you think she's one of the only of the re only remaining Urukaitu is. Um, oh, but then you're hit twice uh, by, um, by the half giant who's kind of come lumbering up at your uh, at your right flank, roaring and shouting and uh, swinging his... Uh, Can I his bob and weave? That's, That's what armor <laughs> classes are for. <laughs> Can I use my inspiration to lower his attack rifle? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying whatever here. 10. 15 plus 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 28 is... 43. That's how much damage you take. And that leaves you on 30 hit points. What the um, hell? The two, who, the two who are in front of you. They're fucking giants. What are you fighting them for? I don't um, I don't want to fight them. We literally <laughs> didn't want to fight them. <laughs> should have said that then. I mean, <laughs> someone had mentioned it. Just, uh, honestly. <laughs> Maybe we should appeal to their um, big hearts. Yeah, that's what you need to appeal to. I vote we all just lay on the floor and play dead. Giants can't sense <laughs> movement. Yeah, they're like T They can't sense movement. Oh, that'd be... <laughs> this isn't Jurassic Park. Yeah, man. Feels like okay. it. Yeah. Uh, another another 36 damage to Tick Tick. Um, he manages to withstand the first two blows bravely, heroically, and then before your very eyes, Matthias, crouched down out of sight, he falls. Tick ticks down Matthias. as well. Yeah. Matthias, you're hidden. Uh, Tin, I'll get to you in a second. In fact, Tin, can you roll me a, a d10, please? This you better be another one of those uh, hallucination I dreams. I, I managed to paralyze one of them. That was handy. Let me find a, a d10 on the... Uh... Five. Okay. Constantine bleeds. Yes, I did. Okay. Ra, you find yourself, I mean, and you're operating by hearing alone, aware that two of them are flanking you, one from the left, one from the right, trying to close in to finish this. Uh, so who's still left standing? Seven. Just real quick. Myself, Matthias, and Portek. Half Portek's the party's hiding. down. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> I've got two on me right now. I feel like I'm going to go down next. <laughs> Plus, the damage is going to be higher because I'm a oh, bigger oh, target. Don't mess with giants. Well, uh, 45 points of damage there. That puts you on 104, Ra. 
as uh, your blood flows for the first time. Uh, Matthias. Um, I will... So I've got the chieftain. There's the shaman. Right, I'm going to start with first firing a blow dart at the shaman. Is this poisoned? Yes. Uh, 26 to hit. Okay, let me just check that saving throw. He's got a minus two to that. Uh, oh, minus four to that, sorry. My worm. Ah, oh, okay, that's a fail. Okay, uh, he's dead. All right, okay, the shaman just gets the side of his neck. <laughs> blood and froth bubbles out the corner of his mouth Boom! he goes down I didn't want to do this to the chieftain but I will try the chieftain I didn't really want to kill him though you can paralyze him well then, then I've got any don't paralyzation. shoot poison at him <laughs> um, I'm going to shoot take out the ones that are trying to kill us yeah I'm going to shoot the one there's one on Ra isn't there there's two, two on Ra. Two on Ra. Okay, I will try to hit one on Ra. I'm a class 35. I believe that would be hitting. He survives. He survives. That's with a minus four as well, but yeah, no doubt he survives that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, da, 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 where is Did it? Did he take any any damage? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he takes 28 damage. Noise. I'll shoot him again then. Twenty-two to hit. Yeah, um, let me just another save. Another mm. save. Okay, so that is. It's the same guy. Uh, same one, yeah. Um, and that is 29 damage. And then okay. I will move and hide by tin. Okay, give me a roll for that. I've clicked it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Still okay. under. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, uh, finally Ra. All right, so I'm going to... Hearing one be damaged, I'm going to start my attacks on that one. And the moment if yeah. he goes down, then I'll switch to the other if possible. Um, one, two, focus three, fire, four. focus fire. Um, I think they all fit, the lowest being a 22. Yep. Mm -hmm, Size so thirty. Okay, the, fir the first, the first blow kills kills the injured guy outright. Perfect. Uh, then 25, 23, 21. Okay, and those are sufficient to kill the second one. <gasps> oh my god! On the Two giants in one go. <laughs> I'm a god. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to left and right. All right. Wow. Nine, nine, nine. Charge them. Right. Nine more giants. Charge them. Is, is let's, have the, let's, let's have an issue now, guys, please. Is Chief Man I'm assuming proud that the ones me? that are not up are not rolling. <laughs> Does the uh, Chief uh, adopt me please. as his daughter? Oh. One or two. Uh, that's going to be a... Okay, uh, Bingle Bangle, the Nish. Uh, two. Just be, it'll just be raw D10s for you guys. Uh, oh, Portek? okay. Six. Six. Two is fine. Tick, tick. Two. Matthias? Five. Ooh, ouch. Ra? Uh, eight. Ten. Uh, four. Can I make mine quicker with the D6? Yes, sure, if you want to use your inspiration. I, I would like to do that as well, please. Stand them and roll them. <clears throat> I'm on two. So, okay, Matthias gets adjusted to a two. Portek gets adjusted to a... 
sorry, wrong uh, screen. One sec. Five. It's adjusted to a five. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's a bit shit, but okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'll give him my d6. Can't give d6s. Oh, you can't? D20s okay, you can give. There you go. There you go. Uh, right, okay. Um, I think I might need that. <laughs> Bagal, Bagal, uh, roll me a d10, please. Oh, Bingle Bangle stabilizes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lucky. Um, okay. Uh, tick, tick. Give me a d10, please. Can I roll my d6 inspiration on my stabilization roll? Uh, yeah, sure. If you get a two or higher, we'll, um, we'll have you stabilize. No! Oh, no! Oh, tick, tick, bleeds. Oh, that's harsh. Oh, God, okay. that's so intense. Oh, no. Matthias. The world's smallest violin plays just I will stick my... Choose your next words carefully. <laughs> Think about where this is going, Lee. I will stick my, ju my, um, my juicy fruit. I'll, I'll put yes. my uh, healing fruit inside Tin's mouth. I thought this was about to be some kind of some crazy only thing. <laughs> I've missed this game. Um, go ahead. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where Tin is at? Hold on. Uh, is he below? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tin is too. Tin can no longer. Um, oh. Yeah, he's um, he's below the uh, the threshold for being able to. Is there a way I can stop his bleeding? Uh, you, need to, you need to spend an action and make a healing roll if you have healing. I don't have healing. Which, which so... you do not. So, no, there's nothing you can do to help him. You can stand there and watch him bleed to death in front of you. Right. Or kick you can him. do something else. Okay. Um, yeah, you can kick him. Yeah. What's around me? Like, is the. Did the. I look at the, gi the giant leader. Did, uh, is he looking at me? Like, could he? Did he see me, in other words? Uh, uh, yes, he almost certainly did. Yes. He's right. looking directly at you. I will fire. Two poison darts at him, then. Okay, go. Oh my god, I'm gonna re roll that one. Oh my god! Did the 20 hit? Uh, no. Really? Oh my yep, god. he's on a class 24. Uh, 34. So a single hit. Single hit. Oh, come on. Uh, whoops, take the first one of those. I accidentally clicked two. Uh, oh. That is a save for him. Is it uh, at minus? Yep. Uh, still with a minus. Oh, on minus on. four. Uh, no, that's a fail. He's dead then. He gargles, coughs once, and drops. And I will immediately move away and hide again. Did you just uh, shoot? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't want to do it, but I didn't think the we chieftain? had a choice. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm the chieftain now. <laughs> so, uh, 20. To hide. Nice. Okay. And you uh, disappear into the shadows and smoke behind one of the pillars. Yes. And, yeah. uh, okay. You dare. At least we didn't we enrage them by done. killing their chief. Tin, roll me a d10, please. Did he not just do that? That was last round. Uh, six. Tin bleeds. You can use your d6 to... You gave it away? No, when I got oh. it, I gave it away because you guys were in combat. You fool! And I was dead. Well, what are you going to do? Fuck it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there is a hue and cry, a clamor of horror goes up um, as both uh, Shaman and Chieftain are felled. Um, the uh, the remaining the remaining giants, um, some of them bust out through the open doors into the crater lake itself, shouting and roaring in their tongue. Uh, you can hear cries and yells of dismay going up from all over the camp. Um, Matthias is hidden. 
Hortek is invisible. Uh, Quick question, do I speak giant? You do not. Okay, Unless no it's written on your sheet, you don't. Um, <clears throat> with the uh, the fury at the uh, the loss of their of their leaders, let me just make a morale check here. Yes, uh, the remaining half, the remaining giants, one, two, three, four, five of them in the chamber itself, converge upon the only figure still standing, which is Ra. Is oh, uh, a one and a my fire three. elemental. What do you want it to do? <clears throat> um, attack the giants that are attacking Ra. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Good thing you remembered. <laughs> He's just standing in the back going, what do I do? Well, I, did, I forgot last <laughs> round. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Let's go in here. Blink has redeemed 2d6 inspirations to give to someone. Ooh! Who doesn't have them? No one. I just used mine, and you gave yours away. So there's so that. So if Bengal, Bengal gets one, and Ra gets one. If, if Ra already got one, or no. And on top of that, Osiris has no just way. just donated two lots of 500 bits for two D20 inspirations. I think do we all still have I our think, D20s? Or I think we still have them, but if you don't, I don't have a D20. Um, so Ra gets a D20. And after that, Tick Tick Sweet can Jesus. have a D6. <clears throat> okay, Ra. Oh, nice. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank I will need that. Uh, the, yes. uh, the five giants close in upon you, and their blades come at you in a whirling flurry of obsidian death. You dodge and duck and parry, but take one, then another, then another, then another then another blow. Your blood flows. Your battle cry flows even more loudly as you take 103 points of damage Jesus. and are left with one hit point. What? Portek. Portek uh, moves under the ground, underneath uh, Konstantin and puts... Uh, a cure uh, light to stabilize uh, him to zero hit points. No way! Okay. Nice. Stabilizes at zero from minus eight, Constantin. One more round left. Very good. <clears throat> okay, and uh, finally, Ra. Um, how many? From feeling the, the hits, how many giants are around me? Am I aware? You think about about half a dozen, and you can hear shouting from outside the chieftain's hut, which would suggest that um, <clears throat> they are rallying the defenders uh, around the entire encampment. What do you do? Um, I... I'm, I'm like I, a part of me wants to like say I surrender, but I don't even know if they would like take it, um, considering the way they behave. So I'm just gonna want to go down fighting. I think with my last hate, my last okay. one HP, I use all my strength to try and lash out at those that are. That's four hits. Me. Did my fire elemental do anything? Hold on. Two, four, six, eight, uh, 88 okay, so damage. One, two, okay. It takes all four blows, <coughs> one after the other, after the other, after the other, to fell a single giant in front of you. Your limbs are growing weary. Your life almost over. You sell it dearly, ending the existence of at least one of your adversaries. Finish, please. Am I rolling a straight d10 still? You don't need to roll, Bingal Bingal. You're safe. Oh, okay. But roll anyway in case someone wakes you up. Question for Jade. 
Can I redeem? Nope. S okay. Not for your own show. Dang it. I could use the 1d6 here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Initiative initi then from Bingle Bangle. Five. Five. Poor tech. Eight. Tick, tick. Oh, no. Five. Oh, no. Matthias. Eight. Guys, these are terrible rolls. Ra? Five. One. <laughs> More in 1d6s. Nine. A part of me okay, wants to right. use a d6, but I feel like I should probably save that for a death save, honestly. I'd, I'd just like to say it's been nice knowing you guys. Um. <laughs> Matthias Portek, from your hidden locations, <coughs> you can see um, Ra kind of surrounded by giants. She's felled a couple of them. <coughs> they kind of take their step. They all of them take a step back. And one of them, and Ra can't see him do it, salutes her with his, his obsidian blade. And then <coughs> the sword swings out. Also, Blink redeemed a greater healing potion. Could that appear in my ass? <laughs> I'm going to clench my cheeks and use it. <laughs> you see her fall. Hits the ground right next to the body of Bengal Bengal. Shadows appear at the entrance as easily half a dozen more giants come thundering up toward the... Uh, to the chieftain's hut. They'll be in here in a few moments. Um, those who still stand are kind of going around, checking the various bodies uh, to see who is still conscious and uh, who is not kneeling down beside them, prodding at their wounds. Magal, you're still out. Um, tick, tick. Yeah. Roll me a d10, please. Ah, oh, yes. The joy. I will use a d6 inspiration that I just oh, got. Oh, oh, Yay. There All you right. go. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Stabilize at <laughs> negative seven. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> I'm so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be playing. So, so, Jade, this I just saw your rolls good. for the fruit, and it I got a 20. Does that yeah. mean it does appear in my ass? Yeah, natural 20 means it appears in your ass. This is Okay, right. I'm going to clench yeah. my cheeks and use it. Uh, it's that at the end. Um, Tin gets the, uh, healing, the great healing fruit. I like to think as the okay. giants prod at him, they accidentally smash the healing potion. <laughs> they absorb <laughs> then into yeah. him. You know what I'm saying? Why were the giants poking my ass? <laughs> okay, uh, Ra, can I get a D D10 from you, please? Oh! <gasps> Ten. Oh. oh, oh, Ra stabilizes. Good rolls, guys. Um, and no longer is bleeding to death, um, but is still unconscious. Okay. That's that's nicely that's done. A lot. Uh, Portek. Oh, and I should say, Portek. Sorry, just before you act, um, the other giants who've been called in from across the stockade. Um, make their way into the uh, the chieftain's hut. Among them is Merlac, who is, no, no, runs and drops to his knees by his father's body, Daddy? weeping. Hmm? Do I feel okay? Feel my Portek, what are you doing? Um, Save his father. His father is poisoned. I can't save his father. Um, is he doing the Simba right now? Like, Daddy, wake up! He's, he's like <laughs> nuzzling him, he's shaking him. I will. Um, you don't have slow poison, a whole poison, or anything, right? I keep forgetting this. Guy. I, 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 I have, time. I have some, yeah, yeah. But uh, that I'll have to cast that first. But first, I'm going to take care of my own uh, peeps. Um, I'm going to make sure that Ra gets to, to zero, at least. She, she's stabilized. She's on minus something, probably. She's on minus quite a bit, yeah. So you're going to yeah. bring it to zero? Yeah. Okay. 
And then I'm going to do this. Uh, Ra, you're vaguely aware, um, in and out of the edge of consciousness. Um, you have the smell of of rich earth in your nostrils. I feel uh, Bengal next to me, and I just... He's not moving! Just grip Bengal's hand with any... If I can move even in the slightest bit, I'll just take his hand. Sure, your, your, your fingers touch ever so slightly and collapse over his. Matthias. Um, I'm obviously still hidden. So, <laughs> the, the healing, obviously I had a healing fruit, I'm hidden by tin at the moment. But I'm worried that if I start bringing people back to life, they're just going to start stabbing people again. Um, question, obviously, Fire Elemental obviously winks out. Forgot about okay. the onset time. Does that do anything here? What's the onset time? Uh, one to four minutes. Okay. So he's in the throw of being poisoned right now. Coughing and gargling on the ground while Murlac leans over him. No, no. Oh, no. Wake up. Somebody help him, please. Help him. I feed Tin the healing fruit. Okay, roll me for that, please. What's a greater? Uh, 3d8 plus 3. Uh, 12. All right. Constantine, you come groggily and painfully to your senses. And You're lying on the ground. I stand out to I call for Murlac. Murlac, and I hold my hands up. Your father was controlled, you stand. but we can help him. We can save him. Tin here can heal him. And I'm just holding my hands up. We did not attack. They attacked us. He is being mind controlled. Until I hear w the agreement that I will be healing him, I'm going to lay there like um, just in pain and just uh, kind of playing dead because I don't want to die again. So we are your allies here, not your enemies. Why? There's some shouting back and forward in the giantish tongue. They say you shoot my father. Merlach says. To incapacitate him, yes. <clears throat> so, but he's been mind controlled by the order. Tin here can save him, please. Allow us to at least save his life. And maybe he can tell you the truth. Tin is dead. I said, Tin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Please save his father. And I whisper to him, oh, we're just all dead. All right, I'm looking through my spells to see if I... I believe I have cure, cure poison. Yeah, neutralize poison. Neutralize, yeah. Um, I'll uh, crawl over there um, and uh, put my hand on him. Um, like green, almost vines tendrilling from the ground, wrapping around my hand, and then almost going into his mouth, going down to pull the poison from his system. Okay. We'll pull it out and expel it on the ground next to him. And then I'm just going to pull it out. Back over on my back. Nice. It comes out a uh, vile bilious fluid. And the, the vines wither away. The giant chieftain pulls himself upright. What is this sorcery? Murlach points. <laughs> Him save you, father. They kill us. Look, bodies of your clan. You attacked us first. We come here as friends. 
You came to steal Giant's treasure. You told us. You said we'd come to steal your treasure. We did not. We don't want nothing to do with your treasure. Little man said... He points back toward where the sign is. Little man has been controlling you. He's who the enemy is, not us. Mm, no, him, him say, you, you bad enemy. He appeared in my dreams as well. He's the enemy here. Uh, you make head hurt with, 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 with stories that not same. One story, other story, one story, other story, head hurt. Who do you believe? The people that brought you back to life or the one that was trying to poison your mind? No! Oh, too, too many questions! No. I, I must think I listen to good counsel of, of son. You are... Uh, you and your friends... We put you somewhere, safe, quiet. You know hurt giants. Agreed. We know. We know hurt you. Allow us to tend to you, their wounds. You, you wait while we think. Oh, make head not hurt. Molak nods. This, is, this is good idea. Uh, 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 uh. I, I, I take them to, to, to buy Erdlu pens, yes? Uh, Mark, while they're doing this, um, there's a green energy around me, and I'm going to reach over right next to me to the chieftain, um, yep. and I'm going to uh, full heal. I'll give him a uh, full heal. I'll bring him back to full so he's no longer uh, injured. Well, okay. that's happening. While I'm still on the ground, uh, like, you know, just yep. barely holding yep. on. And Carl? And while that's happening, I'm bringing... A uh, Bengal Bengal and Tick Tick back to zero with uh, Q Lex. Uh, so everybody's back to zero now, I believe. Yes. Uh, with the Bengal Bengal is close enough to go to one hit point. So you actually wake up. Uh, Tick Tick goes to zero, however. It's quite badly hurt. Okay, and then I'll continue to give them uh, a small heal uh, after that as well. If we get okay. if I get the opportunity. I'll I'll put TikTok on tick, tick on one now right away. So um gradually then you um as Portek moves through the earth amongst you, <coughs> you slowly begin to come to your various senses. The devastation of the battle is uh, is total. You're all incredibly badly hurt. You count at least half a dozen dead giants around you, including the shaman. The the chieftain is staring at his own body, the complete lack of wounds that now beset it. As I said, we're your friends. I... I think on this good. Thank you. And I'm sorry for the lives lost here. You can see on the uh, the far side of the, of the room, um, Dokala and Tiana have come to their senses. The halt person having worn off, and Tiana is going round working healing magic on some of the other Urukites. Come, Merlach says. I, I, I take you to where uh, Erdlu Penza. You, you, you be like, like prisoner while, while we think. Sure. I'll help it, people up. A couple of the other giants step in and start to pick up the bodies of the unconscious. Murlac leads the way out of the uh, the chieftain's, I say hut, out of the, the chieftain's pavilion and down toward where the early pens are. I'll, uh, I'll show you on the map in a second. At the door, he stops, turns back. You... You saved Murlach's father. Murlach, very generous to you. Thank you, Murlach. We've traveled you for a bit. You know we're as friends, not as enemies. This, 
difficult time. I understand. And uh, let me just <clears throat> pull up, where are we? The map of the uh, the giant stockade for you here. Mark, as we're moving- um, You should I'll have on, uh, on roll 20 now. So go ahead. Uh, so as, as we're, as we're uh, moving to our huts, um, I'll be swirling magic around and moving amongst the group. I'll be throwing a, uh, I already did a critical um, heal on me. I'll do a critical that I'll roll for right now on um, Tick Tick for, um, if it gives me numbers, for 20. I will do a okay, full so, heal on so, Ra. Okay, so Ra fully healed. Tick Tick gets 20. Gets 20. I got 18. That and 30. Uh, then I'll do um, two Cure Sirius on uh, Bengal Bengal, which is going to be 48 plus two. So. And so Bengal will get uh, 26. Nice. Okay. Bengal puts you on 27. And Ra yep. will extend her long half giant arms around everyone and do a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> As, right, so um, just to give you some context here, um, this here, are we pinging? Yes, we're pinging. <coughs> That's the chieftain's hut. Uh, each square here is each square here is uh, is twenty feet, so it's quite a large area, <clears throat> and you are walked down to this area here. That's the earthly pens down there. Ah. Uh. Okay, so you can you can pop your little peoples in there. But. But yes, um, Murlac leads you through the uh, through the stockade, and you can see uh, giants have emerged from from several of the buildings now, watching you. Brows low, faces filled with, with suspicion. Word has gone out as what has just happened: that the chieftain is dead. But then the chieftain is not dead. But the shaman is dead. Or is he? That there are friends and there are prisoners. Too many questions, too many overlapping stories, too much for tiny giant brains. You are led, you in uh, one set of these cells, the Urukites into the one next to you, crammed in together. And the, as I said, each square in there is 20 foot across, so there's, there's enough room for you. And it's as Molak pulls the heavy Agafari gate across. Wait, he says, and turns and shuffles away that you realize that one way or the other, you are prisoners of the giants. You could, of course, fight your way free, but you've already seen what cost that can bring. For the time being, at least, uh, there is a, a short amount of time <clears throat> to consider your options while the giants consider theirs. We'll come back to that after a short break. Okay, so you um, are led through the giant stockade and into the holding pens where normally Erdlu are kept. Um, most of you are in a pretty bad state by the time you by the time you get there, but uh, once the f five of you are uh, ensconced within the stone stockade, Constantine moves amongst your group, summoning healing energies from the land around him. He pours them into Ra and Bagal Bagal and Tik Tik and himself, engulfing himself in lambent, verdant light. And then finally, his, uh, his magic's done. He simply turns around, goes over into the corner, rolls his... Uh, cloak around him and um and it's actually snoring within less than five minutes as you can see on the map um on roll 20 uh you are down in this bottom uh left corner on the map you've popped yourselves all into separate cells um that's fine you're actually all in one cell uh the urukites have been led into uh, another cell um of portek there is still no sign and in fact none of you has seen him since just before the hostilities with the giants broke out, you have felt the touch of 
the earth elemental healing magic upon you and know that he must be around somewhere. But uh, at present, at least, you don't see him. Okay. How he that, snores. The uh, other Kreen, did he survive? Uh, yes, he did. Um, the only confirmed uh, permanent kill that you saw for sure um, was Vemet the Fowl. <coughs> um, Although he vanished, right? His body did appear to disappear, yes. Wait, so his head came off and then His head vanished. came right off. Oh, yes. I thought he vanished after his head oh, came off. I thought, yeah, yeah. No, no I thought, yeah, I thought like he was about to have his head like taken off and he popped no, out of head, existence, head, which is why I was did so come angry. Off. No, okay, yeah, good. Came, right, well, I'm happy about that then. That's yeah, insane. No, definitely, definitely came off. Um, okay, uh, just quickly, uh, Portak, what are you doing, by the way, while you're... Um, I follow... Uh, where they uh, follow uh, uh, where they are being put. And as soon as I see that they're there and that they're okay, um, I go back to the chieftain and see how the deliberation on what their fate is going to be is going to pan out from the okay. invisible shadows uh, under the ground. Right. Um, the uh, chieftain is in his uh, back in his chamber. Um, Murlac is with him. Uh, there are guards on the doors. Uh, the shaman's body has been laid out in front of the fire. And um, the chieftain is sitting, sitting on the ground next to his body. And he's got something in his hand, which he appears to be rubbing with his thumb. And this is kind of low. What is this? Low rumbling of, uh, of his voice. Um, I uh, go underground and uh, cast Comprehend Languages spell. Okay. And uh, pop back up to see whether I can understand what he's doing. Okay, you're still invisible, of course, yeah? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> he, the Comprehend Languages translates the giantish tongue. Yes, they come in two groups, like you say. I keep separate. For how long? When you come. No, you say story, they say story. I not know. I think. No, you know shout in my head, I think. And then he throws something away and you hear a glass, gemstone, you're not sure what it is, go ding, 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 across the floor. I, I go towards that glass gemstone. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't touch it, have a look at it. Is it in the corner? Um, yeah, it's lying just on the far side, just gently glinting in the firelight. Uh, it's about that big. Um, it appears to be some kind of olivine stone, which you know are used for uh, telepathic communication all across the Tablelands. You've seen these before. Okay. Um, are, they, are they paying attention to where it went? Who? The, the, the chieftain? Yeah, and the other ones? Um, yeah, a couple of them are looking at it, sure. And, uh, you know, the, the couple of the giants are like, should I pick it up? No, I'm not going to pick it up. He threw it. Well, maybe he wants you to pick it up. I'm waiting for the moment where they're not looking at it anymore. And I'll throw uh, a little baggie over it, not touching it, and put it down into the ground. Okay. Uh, you may make me a dexterity check, please, Portek. Let's be having it. Okay. Uh, nice. You managed to snag hold of it. And drag it back down into the earth. I'll leave it there. Okay, and what do you do? I move away from it. Uh-huh, and then what? 
go back to where I was uh, sitting, where where he's uh, where the, the chieftain is uh, contemplating, and see whether I can follow what the decision he's going to be making. Okay. Um, one of the guards uh, appears. By the way, back. If there's anything you guys want to be doing back in your own in your own cell, please let me know. I'm just the rest of you who are prisoners. I presume most likely resting. It's probably yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm yeah. Same with me. I'm going to watch over my companions, seeing as I don't need to sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take up a position near the the, the, the door of the cell, kind okay. of out of sight of, just kind of behind, out of out of sight, in case somebody comes right. through and does something naughty. So, Tink continues to snore. Um, Ra and uh, Bagal Bagal um, sleep and spoon. Uh, you sit by the door, just um, Bingo, Bagal Bagal is big spoon, of course. Uh, you can hear some complaints coming from the Urukites a little bit further down the hallway, um, and it sounds like Strident demands for an audience with the chieftain. Um, there's some rumbling from the guards. Uh, Portek, you see the other end of this conversation when uh, one of the guards arrives in the uh, chieftain's uh, hut. And there's some back and forth. The guard explains that... Uh, the leader of the Urukites is demanding an audience, and feels that matters have uh, been misrepresented, and wishes to uh, make their case clearly. Glad of any kind of clarity, the, uh, the chieftain nods, and before long, the guard returns with uh, Thovadarak of Lubar in tow. What follows is a sharp demonstration of the military training of the Templar, his potent willpower, and really how easy it is to mentally pressure one of the giant kind. The Vodarak's argument is simple. They serve one of the great gods, Hamanu, Lion of the North. They're here under his charge. <clears throat> he presents his holy symbol he offers to call on upon Hamanu's name to demonstrate his connection to the god and requests in the god's name that his servants be allowed to proceed on their way. In return, they will pay gold now and send more gold every time the great moon Guthe is full until the next high sun. It's a winning argument. The chieftain orders a group of his uh, giants to prepare themselves with cages and sends two more back to the cells to free the Urukites. So the Urukite is not uh, and send negotiating on our behalf. You don't hear him mention you at all. And in fact, <clears throat> those of you back in the cells a couple of moments later, the guard comes back, and uh, while he lets the other Urukites out of their cell, Thovadarak strolls down the small corridor to stand in front of, uh, of the pen you're being kept in. Well, unfortunately, our roads part here, he says. You served your purpose in protecting us and ensuring that we got this far. But now Lord Hamano has no further use for you. I leave you in the kind care of our new friends. May the elements smile upon you. Is the Kreen with him? He turns on his heel and uh, heads off. You can hear him kind of trying to, to, to G Ulreg and uh, Dokala and uh, Tiana up to speed and get them off and away as quickly as possible. The Kreen walks slowly down the hallway to stop in front of uh, your cell. Cocks his head back and forth once or twice. Thank you. Thank you, brother. If you ever wander and are lost, you can be part of my clutch. 
you remind what clutch is. For this, our paths cross. I end your debt. I reach out a hand and make the symbol of the the great egg. He responds with the Gerald claw. Bows, crosses his antenna to you, and turns and hurries after his companions. Is the is the half giant there? Ulreg leaves without even a backward glance. So impressionable, so changeable, so disappointing. I thought we were like best friends. I know, I know. They're so fickle, half giants. It's, it's <clears> just, it's, it's upsetting, really. Um, Portek, no, no, while this. Nobody is leaving or not? Yes, they're leaving. As soon as he's so lifted, mar- they're, being, being, they're being led out of the uh, uh, of the stockade, and you can see there's a couple of giants with them with huge uh, cages on their back, um, clearly preparing for a, uh, a trek across the silt. Okay. Just wondering if I can go and rig their cells to open and drop them into the silt. So, Portek, what are you doing? Are you he- heading back to the cell with your, your other companions, or are you going to snoop around some more? Um, as soon as Lubar leaves, uh, <coughs> leaves uh, the 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 hole to uh, make his way uh, away from this place, um, mm-hmm. I will um, talk to uh, the giant. Which giant? The chieftain. Oh, so you uh, so so you head back to the chieftain's hall. Oh yes. yes. Okay. Um, invisible still. <clears throat> yeah. So why didn't you leave my friends and free them as well? Who speaks? I'm <clears throat> I'm the hidden god. What? The one that protects the others that you left behind. What? Who? Ooh. He's looking around in complete confusion. Can you not free them too? Why did you leave them in, 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 the, in the prison? They're the ones. Show yourself, that, little voice! That brought you Who is back. This? That brought you back to life. It's not the Show others. yourself! The rest of you can hear the chieftain's voice booming from across the uh, across the stockade. Who is? I uh, see about the companions I, in the cell. I, there. I, I cast. Uh, um, I go down in the ground and cast uh, uh, a stone skin on myself. Okay. And then I come out of the ground, and I briefly tap him on on the on the ankle. Enough to take, and take a couple of steps back. Enough to become visible? Yes. Just a little. Okay. A dwarf. Yes. What do you want, little dwarf? You want me to free your friends? I would like that, yes. Hmm. I thinking. I can pay you not the amount of gold that the other one offered you. I, I, I don't have that much gold, but I might be able to bring your priest back to life. You bring my shaman back. I let you go. And my friends. Shaman first. Daddy. Uh. So? Well, we need to get uh, my friend Tin out of the jail for that first. (sighs) Go 
still got ten. One of the, the guard looks looks back at his commander. Well, which one ten? No, 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 I don't know. Ask them. Um, back at the have cells. I even been long have I been resting long enough to have gotten my spells back? A uh, a uh, a giant ap appears at the uh, the gates, looking a little bit perturbed. Which one of you is Tin? Which one of you is Tin? Uh, Tin's asleep at the moment. He's sleeping. I, uh, Why you ask? I wanted to do it. I am Sparta kind of thing. I'm like, we all just claim we're Tin. We I'm Tin. That's, that's my wife. <laughs> tin. Tin have to come. He's spent his magics. Why do you want him? He's resting. Chieftain, say, Tin have to come. Half the giant's clearly laboring with the multiple <laughs> chain of events. Now come here, you Tin, come. Tin will come once he's slept. No! He's powerful. He needs to sleep. What? Which, oh, which one is tin? This is not the tin you're looking for. <laughs> the half giant stamps away. You can hear his voice. I don't want to be tin. So this is met with a considerable amount of disappointment by the chieftain when the half giant, when the, when the giant returns to his uh, his cabin and reports that he was unable to find or locate tin. It says Tin sleeping. Tin, tin sleeping. He too powerful uh, to wake up. I, I think. Um. Uh. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. The chief was stupid. The chieftain uh, looks down towards you, Portek. Go and get your friend. I grow impatient. He looks back at the guard. Walking uh, towards the, the exit there. Take the dwarf this time. The, the giant looks around. Caesar so already on the way to the exit. Yeah. Hurries after you to at least make some appearance of him escorting you toward the uh, toward the cells. Um, yes, so um, Portek appears. Uh, just kind of meanders up to the cells with uh, one of the giant guards walking behind him trying to keep up oh hi Portek we in prison I know um how's Tin um he's he 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 doing death death lying down okay well I was hoping that he might be able to bring back uh, the giant shaman he said he spent he uh, needs to he... rest. Tell him he's spent his magics trying to bring the chieftain back to life. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. So we go uh, back to the chieftain. I look at the expectantly at the at the <clears throat> the giant that is accompanying me, and we bring him the message. You stay here. No, I'm coming back and to the chieftain. No, you stay here. No, I go back to the chieftain. You stay here or I will punch you really hard. Okay, I stay here. Oh, good. Um, and he swings the, uh, the cell door shut. Um, Portek with you now inside with your companions. And um, the guard disappears. I go after him under the ground. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he goes. How do okay. You um. At the uh. At the at the chieftain's tent, it's a uh, chieftain's tent, chieftain's hut. There is a considerable amount of consternation going on now. Um, the the guard arrives back, and uh, you follow him under the ground. They appear to be looking for the olivine. 
Must be here! Must be here! Searching back and forward throughout the chieftain's cabin. But, unsurprisingly, there is, uh, there is no sign of it. I go where? Uh, Shouldn't have thrown it away. I make myself <laughs> uh, visible again. I walk into the door after the, 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 the giant. So you emerge up out of the ground? No, 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 no. I'm just going to walk into the, into the building. Yeah, you were underground before? I was underground, yeah. Yeah, so you come out of the ground and walk into the building? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The giant guard looks in shock. You're supposed to be staying in cell! You need to convey the message to uh, the chieftain. The chieftain's head turns slowly around to face you. I have messages. You go wait with your friends now. One that can uh, do the magic that might bring uh, your uh, shaman back needs to rest. He used his strong magics on you to bring you back. So it will take a night, just so you know. I know. God already say. I wanted to make sure because the last time he didn't bring the message across very clearly, did he? <sighs> I'll go back to the, the place now. I'll see you in a bit. There's rumbling back and forth between the chieftain and the guard. It's fairly clear the guard's trying to explain how he's certainly closed the door behind you and he has no idea how on earth he got out. You can hear from the increased agitated rumblings of the chieftain that it's just too much. It's making his brain hurt and it's not going to be too long before he just wants to smash something. That's why I'm, I've left the... the, the <laughs> <laughs> but for the time being, yes. Okay, um, to answer your question, Constantine, uh, um, the uh, resting time and awake with spells um, will be um, rather shortly. Unless anyone has any desires to, uh, to go gallivanting and exploring around the compound, um, it's a rather uncomfortable four or five hours <coughs> resting in the Erdlu pens. The uh, stuff. You're making stuff. Good, good, good. The moons rise into the heavens. Both Ran and Guthe are near full. And even though you're within the crater of the volcano, their light fills the steamy caldera with glowing, mingled green and red and gold illumination. Murlac's immense form blocks this out. As he comes shuffling and settles himself down in front of your, uh, your cell, about an hour or two after midnight. Am I the only one who's awake? Probably. Uh, Tic Tic is the only one who's awake. I mean, um, Portek and uh, Tien are probably resting for their spells. With the uh, with the others, it's up to them how, how awake they are. I want to hear him coming. M Murlac tries to keep his voice low, but um, <sighs> yeah. It is like standing in front of an, an Ampeg S58 by 10. I mean, what can I tell you? Sorry. That, that reference is lost on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone else who doesn't play bass guitar. You, you're still in there, little friends. Where nice. is that? Good. Yes. Um, bad things are happening. What bad things? My father, angry. He, he think little dwarf tried to play tricks. Why would we try he to not, play tricks? He not sure why. He have funny feeling. Look, Merlac says, you little people you run fast. Hmm? You speak fast. You think fast. Then <laughs> he kind of reaches through and <clears throat> prods Bengal's sleeping form. Hmm? Like little feather, remember? Giants not think so fast. And when when little things run around them, and speak a lot, and run a lot, and think a lot. 
it, it make giants sad. It make you make make us feel like like that you try to be clever and to be tricky to us. See. So. He finds stone. What stone? He have magic stone. Somehow it end up in ground. I don't know how. But he, he find it with, um, with stick. He have st stick while well, shaman have stick. And stick show where magic is. He used stone to call little man again. Little man is his enemy. He think little man make his head not hurt. Little man give him answers. Little man is the make one it, that told him to attack us. That we wanted it his gold for him. We don't want gold. That final straw for me. Little man angry. He angry that my father let Urukites go. My father say their god very powerful. And this make little man very, very angry. Father say he let you go too. That you you friends. The little man say if father do that. Then he come here and kill everybody. And he say, Father, I have to keep you here. That, that he coming to get you. Not, not like, like picture that not really there, but really coming. And he take my gold coin. Why did he take your gold coin? I try to say you friends that you give Mona gold coin. He say you brab me. We wouldn't do such thing. Yeah, he say that. He say you brab me with the money. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bribe you, but here's another gold piece. I'll give him another one. Ooh. That's just for being our friend. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, now, Murlac angry too. Murlac angry with his father. Murlac help you get away. How could you do that? I can open door from outside. What, this door? And at edge, at edge of stockade, their children gate, where little giants go out to play in field. You can't get through there if you sneaky enough. Quick question. Um... Has the uh, does his speaking wake up anyone or specific? It, it, it absolutely can. Yes, it's a low, okay. continual rumbling noise, but it's absolutely okay. enough to wake you up. If uh, yeah, um, for sure. I like to think Ra's just been kind of listening. Mm -hmm. She kind of sits upright and turns to where she believes Matthias and Tick Tick are. Um, I'm. I mean, we could try something else first. I'm a half giant. I, my brain doesn't move so fast, and my words aren't quick. Maybe I can talk with him, and if not work, then we do that. If, if that man. fails, um, 
then then we're going to be fighting our way out of here. They're not going to trust us alone in the pens like we are now. Little man is already coming. We need to leave. But if we stay, we die. But if we leave, we cannot help your father. If we leave, then his family's going to die. Like, like, if we can speak to the chieftain, maybe we can team up the giants and us against the little men. Your father won't have to serve him anymore, and we don't have to run from him anymore. We could train together. That sound like a nice idea. But little man, very strong. If I let you go, then it's not father's fault. Do you want to be responsible for your father's death and your family and your friends? If it's not their fault, then little man, maybe not kill them. So why don't it also not be your fault? <clears throat> and we just escape on our own without your help. But how you get off island? What if you came with us? That, that what I was thinking. All the I way. Get, I can get cage. But, but you, you can't come back here then anymore. You say this very important, what you do. Very important. More important than than Molak. You, you, you show kind to Merlach, so Merlach will help you. Would you... You have way to get off island, maybe, without Merlach? Then go. Find freedom. Find a Karaklaklak. Do what need to do. Find a what? The fortress of Aklaraka. La, karak, la, I'm la. sorry, I'm waking up. Would you be willing to come with us even after you help us get off the island? I think I'd be carrying you, so I have to. How, how far away is uh, is the travel that we did from where we started to this place? <clears throat> so um, to get from a bitter well to here was like three or four days. Okay. And if we would uh, maybe uh, through the use of uh, thin shape-shifting, we could fly? Uh, flight would see us. I mean, I could just turn into a, what the hell, a, a megapede and ride along the top of the silt. Um, you guys would easily fit. And we can, I can make us all invisible? So. Uh, I'll, I'll, can you make me invisible if I'm about 150 feet long? I think so. It's a pretty big. Okay, yeah. Then. I, I, you're one creature, right? I think. Let me let me check the invisibility spell, but I think that's not a. Not a yeah, problem. I'm still I'm still going to be one one creature, one really big creature. Let's see, quick check. Just to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. From what I've heard, it, it doesn't have very many uh, predators at all. It's kind of an apex, so we shouldn't be disturbed, even if somebody did see it. Megapede has no swim speed, though, so it can't go in the silt. Oh. Uh, oh, let me see. But flying, I can't think of There are various, all of you. various options for shape-shifting, but yes, getting something that um, I'm currently going through the entire thing, but I'll, I'll tell you right That's now, I'm not, at, I'm not 100% here, so I'm working mm -hmm. as best I can. I can... If you happen, if you happen to know of one or two, send me a list, you know, I'm not going to say I, no. I, I can meet you by shore with with Cray, Cage. 
if if you want help has, or you can go own ways has little man been here before himself not i not i not know i i think he always here but sometimes he like picture that not here he make my head hurt does he ever drink or eat when he's here don't know. Shame. Little man is. <coughs> he's manipulating your father. <gasps> no! But he'll die! How much longer he have to live? He's influencing. Does that help? He's not. <gasps> not that to too! <laughs> it's getting worse and worse! My poor father. He's not going to die. Manipulated and influated. This terrible, this terrible day. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark. Um, uh, yeah. A rook toy. How much can they? How much could they carry? Uh, does it not say? Um, no, I'm not seeing anything. Just that they're huge, about twenty plus feet long, depending. And that uh, okay. they uh huge, yes. Right. So, I see no reason that can't take all of you. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge, so it's but, certainly gonna be able to take the half giant. Yeah, and it can yeah. Uh, it can also go over silt. Yeah, it actually yeah, sits on top of the silt. Actually, yeah, it's got a kind of hovering sort of thing that it does. Yeah, fifteen. Uh, basically, it counts as its swim. It's a fifteen foot swim speed. So, yeah. Uh, then I'll turn to the group. Uh, I know one thing that I can become, at least. I know. I'm sure there's others, but I don't know what they are. What about this man? This one is. He knows enough about us that if, you know, our only ally here were to be with his father at the time of our release and to have somebody come and check our bonds before some, um, before summoning them back to your father's, uh, um, home. And that way they'll have verified that it's secure. You'll be with your father. So when he comes back to report and we bugger off here, you're in the clear. Therefore, our only ally will thus no longer be a potential person. What? So, if you go back to your father and ask, uh, when you're at your father, ask one of the guards to come and check on us. Just And report back. Yeah, and, and report back to see whether we're still in our, in our cell. I can check on you now. No, no, no. But if you make one of the other guards do it, then you are not suspect, not going to be suspected of freeing us. And we will make our way out of there ourselves. So you don't get. Yeah, just just do that. And we'll be gone. Ra, maybe what? you can explain it to him. Go to oh wait, go to father, mm -hmm. get guard, bring guard here. No, no, tell guard Check to on. come. Tell guard to go to us and check on us and report whether we're still in the jail. If you're the last one to have visited us, they might think you're involved. So you can put the blame on someone you don't like. It's a trick. Yes. So they don't think that you helped us escape. Please tell me he does that creepy, like kind of that that uh, wink sort of thing uh, you just did, because I need uh, that in my life. Uh, 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 yes. Trick. Malak stands. 
and still grinning to himself, turns and lopes off into the darkness. Goodbye, Merla. About ten minutes later, a guard kind of, he stamps in, glares at you all. You good? A little yes. hungry. Yeah, we're good. You no. good? Rattles the cage. Stupid murder. Turns and trots off again into the darkness. Okay, so um, I go underneath the the gates to this earth uh, to the other side and open the 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 the, the gate from the, the other side. Okay. Porter arises from the earth on the far side, <clears throat> pops the latch, and the gate swings slowly open. Freedom beckons. I uh, exit I suppose, the cage. I, I suppose we all uh, need to be invisible to get out of here and uh, see. So I'll cast an uh, improved invisibility on everybody. Okay. And let's make make our way out of this uh, place and go outside so you can change into a, a flying creature. I'm not flying. I mean, uh, um, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Just moving some things around Les, if you don't mind. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so, um, you're casting, g give me that invisibility rundown again, please. Uh, invisibility 10 foot radius. Okay. So everybody is just grouped nicely together around Portek. Uh, okay, yes. and you make your way, uh, you make your way out. All right. Which um, way are we? Are we leaving? Because they said it's something about a kid's gate, but I don't know where that is on the map. Okay. So, um, as you emerge out into the uh, into the the stockade area, you can see there are giants milling about the place in a, uh, a number of locations. I'm just uh, drawing them over onto your uh, onto your lair there. Um, and as you'll notice, uh, so excuse me, I'll do some tokens, select to move. So there's a big fire pit here, right? You can see that, yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, this over here is the, is the lake itself, boiling with steam rising up, sending billowing humid clouds of vapor all across the stockade area. Over here by the chieftain's hut, there's a couple of guards standing outside. Um, and you can actually see over by the main gates themselves, there are four of them on guard inside the gate. That's right here. And another four on the guard post outside in the tunnel that leads out of the, uh, out through the volcano, out of the caldera. <coughs> the child's gate that uh, Murlac was telling you about is a, like a little kind of sally port that's on the main gate right here. So getting to it is uh, it's going to be tricky. We have to somehow get past those four guards. Yeah, these guys over here by the chieftain's heart, not so hard. And these four guards here, okay, so each square is 20 foot, so they're not actually bunched up impassable like that, but you will need to be extremely cautious getting past this group just inside the gate here. And then, of course, finding a way to get the sally port open and out past the, uh, past the guards outside. We could um, use Merlac a distraction. Himself, yeah, I was going to say. Himself, there's, uh, there's no sign. We need I was going to say, I kind of wish that we knew that before he left because we probably should have asked him for a distraction. Yeah. Well, he's not that bright. Well, we. Um, we no, we you guys! <laughs> we would have known. We would have known that all those people were there, though, right? Sure. I mean, this is not a surprise to you. You walked in this route, so you, you know that there are giants all over the place. And there was indeed a guard post outside, and there were a few standing. These ones in, uh, in, inside the main gate, these four right here, these are uh, new additions probably since the uh, the recent attack. But Bortek. yes, this is not a complete surprise to you that there are... Bortek, can you and use silence as well? <clears throat> um, then they also would suddenly become uh, deaf. But I might be able to go underneath the gates and create a distraction on the other side by summoning a creature somewhere. But then if you leave us, we'll become visible. Um, right. Can I just check, sorry, Portek, you're... 
you've got several turns per day of this, right? Of what? You meld with stone. Meld with stone, yeah. Um, let me I, the... I think you're out. No. Let me have a look. Ignore elements. What is it? One turn per level per day? I'm looking at it at the moment. Give me a sec. One turn per level yeah, per one... day. Yeah. Per day, yeah. Okay, so for, so for you, eleven that's turns. Just, yeah, so two hours. Okay, right. it has definitely been. It's definitely been more than two hours. Um, Constantine has spent more than that resting with his spells. Yeah, but I, I was not in the earth at that time, right? Yeah, but it lasts. You, you can do it once per day, and it lasts for one turn per level. So you turn it on, and then you can pop in and out of the earth as much as you like. Ah, no, you can't. You can't use it, and every time you use it, that it goes up the, the, tur the turns that you have. No, okay, I, mis I misunderstood said, that. Okay, so once you use it, the, 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 the clock starts ticking, basically. Guys, once per day, have, it says under the class description. Yeah, I have a second idea. You may not like it, but silence might become an option. Mm -hmm. I turn into a silkworm. I with silence, I eat through this freaking wall, and we go through the fucking wall. That's another way we can get out of here, but it heavily relies on silence. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we can also yeah we can, we can burrow like we've done before, right? So just just to check, uh, well, no, I would not want to put you in my mouth and then burrow under. I mean, we could. Oh, um, the, the spell, use the spell. Remember, um, we, we did that before. Okay, we we could do well. I mean, there's a difference between riding through the earth and riding through see a silt um yeah. you would have to be in my mouth as i go or you're going to be pretty screwed right. so correct me if i'm wrong on that mark but if i recall if they're on my back as i'm burrowing through the uh, or as i'm burrowing through the sea of silt that's a bad day for them yeah unless they can breathe silt yeah so you'd have to be in my mouth and i would have to keep coming up often to give you to get you oxygen in in that crevice What how is about, our how, escape how, plan? How about, how about we tunnel out of here? Just use a spell to tunnel out of here. Okay, let's tunnel out. Well, that's what I was going to do with the other one, but I figured you saving your spells might have been... No, no, that's better. okay. We could, for the time no, we let's, let's tunnel out. I'll turn into a fun, large gecko, and we'll just run along, literally. Was the, the, the whole, the whole uh, um, idea of us being in your mouth that just doesn't feel right to me? Feels no, I don't want you in my mouth. <laughs> I mean, all you need is that one moment where you step on something that hurts and then you chew oh, accidentally. And ch chomp and we're gone, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Grindy. Mm. Okay, so let's burrow through the wall. I'll gecko up and we get out of here. So what's in, in, in the, this, this area here? Show me. Just I'm love the term "I'll gecko up." <laughs> I'm, I'm blinking it at the moment. I don't know whether you're seeing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah. Well, t t okay, technically, uh, isn't but right? Technically, where I'm pinging, isn't this just lead us out to the sea as well? Uh, you so if you yeah if you if you burrowed through the southern wall there, um, eventually you would emerge out of the southern face of the volcano and be able to make your way to freedom from that. Yeah. Kind of Getting free is not, gold now. It, it's not an issue for you, yes. Because <laughs> we could avoid all of these guards in, in, in their entire Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. And if you burrow, doesn't it um, collapse after you for after a while? Uh, maybe you it remember we did something you. similar um, when we went to the, the, the Halfling Forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you avoided that Gith warband, you burrowed exactly. underneath them using... Uh, something other than what it was so let me, let me actually get the spells to see whether what i'm proposing is actually even possible right bingle bangle you're just sitting tight uh yes i would have probably woken up at some point just catch me <laughs> up to speed and i'll just yeah 
Yeah, yeah, are whatever. we escaping? Are oh, we, we escaping? Oh, finally? <laughs> well, wake me up when it happens, man. <laughs> Is it st- uh, the walls? Are they are they are they loose rock or are they solid stone? No, they're, uh, they're solid stone. Yeah, lava, in fact. So the barrel spell does not work. Uh, okay, um, but we can use it in, in combination. I will be going through my spells fairly quickly. Let's see. Can make solid stone uh, in, in soft Panda, are, Panda, are you actually going to sing that, by the way? Oh, I, I mean, I'm singing, <laughs> singing it, honestly. Sing it, sing it. Well, foot frame been gone on her back. When she crits her hits, it all fades to black. She can't see your face, but she'll make it a disgrace. We don't talk about Ron. No, 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 no. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's from the new Disney. It's good. I can't even think of that, that movie anymore. I've seen it so many times. <laughs> it's good. We watched just, it three times yesterday. Three. Someone in chat asked how tall Ra was, and I was like 12 foot, and then it's my hand went. 12 frame and I was like I have to do it Carl after that musical interlude do you have spell description information for us I'm going to take that as a no no, oh, I, I, can, yeah, no I, can, I can do negative it's, I uh, can try to smooth up to mud Either, either it was a no, or it was really a hell of a suspenseful pause. I just... like, I like a nice, high-paced game, but you know. Yeah, sorry, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, what's it going to be, guys? I'm going to try and figure out the shortest way to uh, from uh, the the wall to uh, the outside wall. I need to see how long that is before we get stuck. Uh, I okay. can do a transmute and transmute rock to mud spell, and then we can barrel through that. Nice. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but I need so, to know whether uh, I can actually reach the length. Yeah, you think it's going to be, what have we got there? 200, 30, 260 feet. 260 feet. Of solid rock, yeah, to get through. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I will need... Let's see my spells, whether I have to have spells to do that. With its guitar. Um, I'm missing 40 feet of uh, rock. I can't make it. Okay. Oh no, actually, I, I, I'm I'm a higher level, right? I cast at a higher level. Oh yeah, you got that thing. Yeah, you yeah. do. And then I'll just make it. <laughs> <coughs> okay. All right. So, um, Carl, describe to us what it is that Portek does to get everyone's asses out of the fire here. <clears throat> I create a, 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 in one of the side caverns, uh, so out of the view of uh, uh, all, the, all the all the giants. I go to the wall. I plant my feet into the into the rock, and cast a prayer. Put my hands onto the rock, and I create a tunnel of mud into the rock, all the way to the outside. Right, and then. I follow that up with a burrow spell through that mud. Okay. With his mastery of elemental earth fully unveiled before you, uh, I've just got a, a, a drop out on Twitch. Just reload that. Um, with his uh, mastery of elemental earth unveiled before you, Portak first turns the stone of the volcano itself, uh, quite simply, into mud. And as that starts glooping and falling and sliding aside, he then unleashes the power of the burrow spell and forges a tunnel right the way through it. You've seen this kind of thing before and you know to be hot on his heels. 
as soon as he's starting to step through the burrow, you're following behind him. Feet trudging and sliding through the mud. Behind you, the tunnel starts to collapse. The mud falling down, enveloping you in stifling, grimy darkness. Ahead of you, there is only the steady slush of Portex feet through the slime as he forges onward. And then, at the very last, when his spell energy is almost entirely depleted, the burrow spell pushes through the mud and out onto the outer rock face of the caldera. Moonlight washes over you, and below that, the strange green grasses of Lake Island. And beyond that, a few miles down the slope, the gently undulating surface of the Sea of Silt. For the time being, at least, your escape from the giant stockade will be unnoticed. What do you do with what little time you've won for yourselves? I immediately take a stock of the surroundings. Okay. Likewise, I start to uh, look around the uh, the area, safest way down, and a good place for me to transform and then to board. You need to figure out where, which direction we need to go and how where we need to walk. Yeah, basically. Okay. We're getting down. I would guess uh, I would just I'll be using my navigation and and mass mountaineering. I guess if I can use them. Okay. I'm gonna. Do I have it here? Yes. I will put up the other area map. Oh, good. Good. Okay. I'm assuming you guys can see this. Uh, Lake Island is right here. Okay. You can actually see the little lake there. <clears throat> and you've come out on the south side of this volcano right here. So you're a few miles from the southern shore. <clears throat> so, uh, would, you, would navigation help me find uh, where we are and how to proceed? Make me a navigation roll, please. Rolling. That is garbage. Oh no, it's less. No, less is good. Oh, that's good. That's nice. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> okay. Too long. So, from what you've heard before, Lake Island is the uh, the beginning of the Road of Fire, which is a chain of islands that stretches off to the northeast, just off in that direction, from uh, from Lake Island onward. And you have heard that the fortress of Akarakle lies somewhere along the Road of Fire. So one would imagine that it is to the east of where you are now. All right. But I what you are what then. what you are envisaging is a uh, what turning into a rook toy and paddling off into the sea of salt. Yes, sir. Okay. And, That's and what they're made for. Why did you smile like that? because I'm a happy person. <laughs> happy DM is a scary thing to, to behold, so... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> so you, what, then hurry away down the shoreline in the darkness? Yeah, I keep an eye bulk out. Of the... I keep an yeah. eye out for any threats. We need to... Yeah. Uh, do we do we have any any uh, reserves? We get every, our, our stuff with us? Do we have water and everything? So you will have whatever you are, whatever you're able to carry, um, but larger supplies of water are not something you're. I have carrying two. With you. I have two gallons on me. You, okay. Ra, this is important. I have you're, a you're, lot. you're the water guzzler here. Yeah, oh, I have. Totally. I have a lot of water on me, I believe. But then I also, ha I think I put most of it on my kank. But you took it with us when we went in, on, on to the giants, I'm presuming. Because you didn't take the kank with you. Yeah. Whatever you I, could whatever you're whatever you're carrying yourself you have with you. The rest of it you'll have left behind just because you're not able to carry it. Yeah. I, I would probably be carrying the max amount I'm able to carry, because um I know I had a lot of water on Yeah. I think we loaded you up pretty sufficiently. I'm pretty sure we previously established your your standard mm -hmm. carry is something like forty gallons. Yeah. 
I got, I got, I got, sorry, I'm trying to find it on my sheet, but I can't figure out where I put it. Um, but yeah, yeah let's, I, I <coughs> definitely had more than 40 gallons. So let's just say I'm carrying 40 gallons, if that's okay. We'll go with 40 for now. We'll amend that if we need to. Um, okay. Uh, is anyone else, apart from Tick Tick, is anyone else carrying any water? As noted I, on this I show? have some water with me, yeah. I have two. How me, much? Yeah. You got two, you got two bingle bangle, any? I'm carrying one and a half gallons. Okay, cool. Uh, Tin right. would actually be carrying none because all he can carry is his weapons and such when he turns into beasts, so he can't carry more than his weapons yeah. and his standard gear. All right. So you make your way down through the darkness until you finally arrive at the shore of the Sea of Silt. The dust is kind of coughed up onto the shoreline, a uh, gently sighing blanket of fine grayish gold powder. Under the moonlight, it seems almost alive, gently sighing surface and tiny eddies of uh, late night air spend, send dust devils spinning across the surface of the silt. You have recalled from your previous close encounters with Silt that if it is kicked up to any great degree, uh, suffocation begins to set in. And we need to have I the masks. Yeah. The Grey Death, masks. yes. <clears throat> so you have Silter masks, which you can pop on. And uh, for everybody, that's going to be a gallon of water to keep them wet um, to prevent you from uh, from suffering suffocation. So can we each knock off a gallon, please, yeah. for, the, uh, for the mask? Um, do not knock off a gallon for tin. He will not need one. You're gonna right. All right, okay, nice. Done and done. Okay, and what then is gonna be um, is gonna be the plan of proceeding? You're gonna turn into a rooktory and just start swimming east? Is uh... uh, yeah, I'll be using my navigation um, again to kind of just since it's I've seen maps, I may not be able to read, but I been shown where things are and stay as close to uh, road fire as I can um, since I'm a creature that mostly runs upon the surface creating little noise and or you know presence uh, just try to stay at a distance where if I see anything I can react but yes the general plan is east okay um, I, have a, I have a question before we, we, we leave the the, uh, the Euro guides left with giants to continue their their, their trip right Yes, they went on giant back, yes. And there was how many hours ahead of us? Uh, you think three or four hours ahead of you? And we, I know roughly how fast these giants walk. How far would they be away from us? Would they be within a range of a, of a location spell? Yeah, wh what is their the speed range in spell? Cell? That's a good question. We, we covered it previously. What is their speed in cell? I know they don't have their full. Uh, 15. <clears throat> 15? Okay, same as mine. Got it. Hopefully that means they won't catch up to us. We'll just stay equal distance away. No, well, we're behind them, so we have to catch up to them. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, and let me have a look. There is no range. The range is infinite but on this plane. What's the spell? If, if, if it's the fine person spell, level four. Um, the spell reveals a person's location as a compass direction, as well as up and down, and the most basic life readings, alive or dead. It reveals less information in two cases if the person is on another plane of existence. The spell only reveals that the person is outside. If the person is imprisoned, the spell reveals only that the person is confined. Okay. Uh, in both Same of these... Uh, so saving throw none. Okay. Uh, the customer must know the name of the person, sought or have personally seen the individual at least once in order for the spell to function. Typical readings are south, southwest, dead, outside, or east, down, dead, or north, alive, yeah, or yeah, yeah, confined yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, is this what? Which? Which? Uh, specifically, sorry. Which spell is this? It's called the locate, find, locate, no, find, find yeah, person, sorry. divination. Find a person, yeah, okay. And it's cleric? No, it's a, pre, it's a wishing spell. Okay. Um, just going to double check and make sure there's nothing I need to, to know for this. Uh, 
and the, the spell duration lasts, lasts one turn per level. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay, good. Right, yes. <clears throat> Okay. Do you have the material components? I have the the, the rod with the, the the light which I use. It's it's actually covered in the, in the, in the cloth. Yes, but not the garment of the person searched for, or a personal article of sentimental value. That's what Unfortunately. That. Let me have okay. Uh, um, Tin, your transformation into a rook to oh, he's gone. I got a picture of everything. I'm so upset. A rook, rook took. A rook toy. A rook toy. Ah, I'm yes, one of those. Should... Yeah, where is it? Uh, the famous yes. rook toy. Yeah. No, no, I don't have that. Damn. Damn. Okay, um, so up on screen now um, is a rook toy. This is what Constantine um, turns himself into. Uh, it's like, um, I'm not quite sure how to describe it really. It's a large flat lizard with um, a, a Can webbed you turn flippers. yourself back? I don't fucking like it. <laughs> you ever seen those like <laughs> diagrams of like, where the evolution of like when the fish just slowly comes onto land and it like morphs into this weird... Yeah, That's like, what, what that called? looks like. You know those transformed animal books where it's like the person and they change oh, from yeah. like a ferret Animorphs. into a man? Animorph! That's it! Yeah. Uh -huh. I this will not turn back. Learn to love it. Here we go. <laughs> I, how big is this thing? Okay, so big. it's um, uh, it's twenty foot across. It's gargantuan in size. It's huge. Bloody An hell. immense, large, flat-bodied lizard. His entire body warps, shifts, changes, and then, in fact, you can see it's actually hovering just a few inches above the silt, and you can see a like a kind of shimmering cushion of air underneath him. He's a hovercraft. Yeah, it's we levitating. basically don't yeah. disturb the and, silt, so we don't uh, rile up what's yeah. below it. Nice. Yeah, and his 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 kind of paws are uh, used for for motility. So um, I guess one or two of you, uh, one by one, you um, clamber down the uh, the rocky slope, um, wade through the um, through the shallowest of silt. And clamber onto the back of um, of a tin the rook toy. At this like point, I'm not even a companion in the party. I'm just a friggin' Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way like we can hang on to him, like or so, secure no. ourselves? No. Um, and uh, I don't think any of you. I'm just going to check. No. 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 Portek does. Do um, I have a problem has, holding on? Am I, is Portek, has, a problem? Portek has a riding land-based. Um, so Portek will know what to do if anything untoward happens. Um, the rest of you just really better hope that nothing bad happens or you're falling off. Or you could hold on to the large ridges down the back of my spine. You could grip, you could grip his bony ridges. This is true. Yes. Grab my, I, I, guys, grab my bone. Don't let go. I grab and rub his bone. I'm hoping it's going to be. Okay. A, I'm uh, just going to sit on Ra's save. shoulders. <laughs> on, on, on my on my back, Matthias. On my back. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to his head. <laughs> if that's you rub good. it hard that's enough, it, it, bring, it, it brings you luck. I use yes. I use grappling. I will hooks. I will rub I will rub his uh, head for luck. It's like uh, oh, no, sorry, I was talking about his bone. <laughs> it's like seeing out of dune. <laughs> the rock toy spits up now. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. It's all getting out of okay. hand. <laughs> <laughs> I have to find a way to get out of this, I have, and I can't. I find have fifty it. foot. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm on the on the back of the rook toy, and I actually am going to summon. Um, I think. Let me let me think this through. I'll come back to you. In While a second. you're thinking of that, I've got yeah. fifty foot of silk rope. Can I use? Like, you know, around his arms, or across his back, and then around his other arm, and then create a knot so we've got something to hold on to. Yeah, okay, it's so not BDSM. Of, yeah, a bit of extra work from uh, from uh, uh, Matthias, and you form a, a, a rough halter 
and uh, and rain so that at least you have something to, to hold on to. Jam it in his mouth. A little <laughs> bit of bondage. <laughs> Anybody j- attempts to jam anything into his mouth, we're going to need combat rounds. And the Stop. only action I'm going to take struggling. is throwing them into the silt. Another healing potion up the ass. You know yeah. how it is. Stop struggling. You know you like it. <laughs> Again, my butt cheek clenches. No. It seems improbable, it- but within about 10, 15 minutes of the Rook Tory just kind of allowing itself to be to be manhandled, manhandled, you indeed have a rough harness linked up on its back. From the giant stockade comes the sound of a horn blowing. And I shouting. think we leave now. We're invisible. Let's go. And with that, whoosh, off I go. Is, is the Rook Tory okay. invisible as well? Or yeah. is it just uh, the, the rook toy is not invisible. It's too big to be engulfed by the by the whatever the hell it was. Ten foot radius. The thing is twenty foot across. I will cast a spell on him itself. On the rook toy itself. Yes. Okay. And so it is invisibly and concealed under the moonlight. We shoot away from Lake Island. Behind you. Kind of awesome. <sighs> The giants come thundering down onto the shoreline. You can hear the chieftain's voice shouting. The guards calling back and forth. But you are shadows upon the silt. There is no chance for any of them to see you, much less stop you. And it is as you round the edge of the promontory upon which you had uh, mounted the rook toy that you see there is a solitary figure has made its way down onto the edge of the rocky outcropping. Murlac stands pretending to search up and down the shoreline. But you can see his eyes firing as he peers out across the silt. And perhaps because the moonlight catches a dust eddy kicked up by one of your flippers at the right moment, uh, perhaps it's just a fluke. But he seems to be looking right at you. As he carefully raises a great hand in farewell. You leave Lake Island behind. Your silt masks pulled tight across your face. You've never felt so exposed. The sea of silt is known for being a crucible of some of the most horrendous creatures on Athens. Now you ride inches above it on the back of Tin the Rook Toy. Yes, you're invisible. But you are not silent. You are not scentless. And you can see swirls and eddies and whirlpools in the silt as you make your way through it. Constantine, the road of fire curves eastward. Constant toy. <laughs> you have no idea how far along it accurately lies. How many days are you going to expose yourself and your companions to danger like this? I'll expose myself as long as I need to. Yes, we know about that. There's a restraining order and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no. fair. That's fair. I guess it remains to be seen. We will. Um, pull the camera back ever so slightly at that point. The invisible haze of the of the rook toy just sweeping out across the silt, leaving nothing but the vaguest of swirls and eddies and tiny maelstroms in its wake. And then just before we fade to black, we see something <sighs> slither through the silt in rapid pursuit of the rook toy going to be like that sandworm from the Mandalorian and we're going to get our asses handed to us. Ass handing will have to wait until next week. 